Hello everyone, welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, I get this question frequently, especially from those who are traveling through our state, and that is they want to know if our firearm laws change as you go from city to city, county to county, eastern Washington to western Washington. So let's spend a couple of minutes today and talk about can cities make their own gun laws in Washington state? Okay, before we get rolling today, if you guys like this video, go ahead and click that like button down below. If you want to stay up to date on issues related to your Second Amendment rights, both on a statewide and nationwide level, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Click the little bell logo down below if you want to be notified of new videos. And most importantly, please keep the comments coming down below. We've had a lot of great discussions on going on with lots of our videos, and that helps uh, entice that uh, YouTube algorithm and help get our videos out there to more lawful and responsible gun owners like yourself. Okay, so the issue for discussion today is, is can cities, can municipalities make their own gun laws? Now, we all can take a step back and say, you know, one of the great things about being a Washingtonian, as Governor Inslee would call it, is, is that we have a very diverse set of cultures and topographies and climates and everything like that here in Washington State. And it really does make Washington State a very unique and wonderful place to live. Now, one of the challenges of being a Washington resident is the diversity in political thoughts depending on what geographical location you are. And certainly there are some cities and municipalities in this state right now where a lot of us lawful and responsible gun owners are questioning the wisdom of how they are being run and certainly questioning the byproduct of their policies. With that in mind, we have to ask ourselves now is if we're traveling through this state, are there going to be gun regulations in a municipality, in a county or something like that that we are unaware of where we could literally go from being completely lawful to engaging in unlawful activity by merely crossing a city limit or a county line? Well, the answer to that question, fortunately, is, is in no situation in Washington state will that occur because of the existence of RCW 9.41.290, which is the state preemption law. Now, that law is very important, and it reads as follows. The state of Washington hereby fully occupies and preempts the entire field of firearms regulation within the boundaries of the state, including the registration, licensing, possession, purchase, sale, acquisition, transfer, discharge, and transportation of firearms or any other element relating to firearms or parts thereof, including ammunition and reloader components. Cities, towns, and counties or other municipalities may act only those laws and ordinance relating to firearms that are specifically authorized by law, as in RCW 9.41.300, and are consistent with this chapter. Such local ordinances shall have the same penalty as provided for by state law. Local laws and ordinances that are inconsistent with, more restrictive than, or exceed the requirements of state law shall not be enacted and are preempted and repealed regardless of the nature of the code, charter, home rule status of such town, city, county, or municipality. And again, in more wordier terms than what we need to probably have, uh, what this law means is that the state, the state of Washington, shall set the regulations for everything related to firearms. Therefore, whatever the law is in King County is the same law that you have in Spokane County, which is the same law you have in Thurston County, and so on. As you cross county lines, as you go from city to city, there are no new laws that you would suddenly need to comply with in order to remain that lawful and responsible gun user. Now, as you can see, the chapter does say that municipalities can restrict consistent with RCW 9.41.300. Let's refresh our memory. 300 is a statute which limits certain areas where we cannot take firearms, no matter what our concealed carry status is, correctional facilities, courthouses, mental health institutions, and so on. I'll post the link to the video down below. What, one of the things that we never have talked about in RCW 9.41.300 is that municipalities and counties have 
the ability to restrict zoning, that is, is that they can require that gun stores or gun ranges only be in certain parts of their town, that should come to it as a shock to nobody else because as we know, that type of zoning restrict uh, exists. Those types of restrictions exist for other types of business. Ask anybody in the cannabis industry. Uh, very restrictive on where you can have a cannabis store. And yes, municipalities are allowed to restrict that so long as they are not restricting anyone else of a similar category in a less restrictive way. So if there is a disproportional restriction placed upon firearms businesses, that would be in violation of Washington law. So I think RCW 9.41.290 makes it very clear that municipalities cannot further restrict firearms. So I'm assuming that's the end of the inquiry, right? Well, unfortunately, no, because if you go out and you take a look at the case law, you will see time after time after time where municipalities attempted to, in fact, uh, impose greater gun restrictions. And in some instances, they've been allowed to do so. Now, one of the first instances was ba way back in 1983. Uh, the city of Renton decided to uh, restrict uh, possession of firearms in any bar, tavern, cocktail lounge, or things like that. Uh, the Second Amendment Foundation believed that that was a further restriction beyond what, RC what the RCWs restricted at that time, 1983. Uh, that was challenged all the way to the Court of Appeals. However, the Court of Appeals upheld that. Now, I really think that that is a little bit of an outlier ruling. Now, it all became moot with the passage of RCW 9.41.300, which, as you know, restricts possession of firearms in any place designated as age 21 and over. There have been other instances. In fact, the city of Seattle in 2010 passed a, a law which restricted possession of firearms at all city parks that was challenged to the Court of Appeals in 2011 and struck down. The court found that the restricting the areas in which firearms could be possessed to, an, to a greater restriction than that which was laid forth in the RCWs was invalid and therefore unconstitutional and struck the law down. More recently, we saw the city of Edmonds in their infinite wisdom decide that they needed to structure a far more uh, restrictive safe storage measure, far beyond what Washington State's safe storage provisions are. We'll put a link for the video for that down below. Uh, the Court of Appeals struck that down also, stating again the restrictions were beyond that which was set forth in the RCWs and therefore invalidated under state preemption. Now, there have been a couple of instances. The city of Seattle was the first one to recognize that an ammunition tax might fly, and in fact it has, only to be repeated now by the city of Tacoma. In the instance where the city of Seattle decided that an ammunition tax was necessary, the Supreme Court of Washington State found that that was within the city's uh, already inherent powers of taxation and had nothing to do with the regulation of firearms itself and therefore upheld that law. Listen, you may think that this is a bit of a dry topic, but the bottom line is, is as certain municipalities and regions in our country continue to move more and more to the progressive left, you will see more and more bold and brash gun restriction proposals coming from them. You will see more and more local municipalities and city councils who believe that their authority extends far beyond the business of that particular city. In all likelihood, you will continue to see more and more challenges to this, and the strength of the state preemption law will be the only thing that protects you and I and our constitutional rights. Listen, you may have more questions about state preemption or anything related to your Second Amendment rights, and if you do, don't ever hesitate to contact us at WashingtonGunLaw.com, or of course, you can call us directly at 425-765-0487. Listen, part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we preach all the time here at Washington Gun Law, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay safe.